everyone welcome back to food nature trails today we'll be making some chicken curry now there's several variations of chicken curry that you can make and all you need to do is switch around the proportion of onions to tomatoes and use different combinations of spices you need 6 to 7 green chilies 15 cloves of garlic and an inch of ginger Roughly chop these up as we are going to be blending these later on. These ingredients along with onions and tomatoes form the base of your curry paste. Green chilies add in that heat while ginger and garlic are your flavoring agents. For the spice mix, you need 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon black pepper, half a teaspoon cumin, quarter teaspoon fenugreek seeds, 3 pods of green cardamom, a thin inch of cinnamon, and a petal of star anise. Grind all of these into a fine powder. To your spice mix, now add in those previously chopped chilies, garlic and ginger. And blend all of these ingredients together. Slice up 5 large onions. Now the way you chop your onions decides the ultimate flavor of your dish. Thinly sliced onions cook up faster than roughly chopped ones and are less easily detected in food. Now this is so great for someone with a picky palate who does not particularly enjoy biting into large chunks of cooked up onion in their dish. The finer you chop these up, the more intense is the flavor that's extracted for your curry base. Dice up two large tomatoes as finely as possible. The amount of tomatoes you use to prepare curry decides how tangy you want the curry to be. The amount of tomatoes I've used in this recipe is just good enough to work well and balance out the sweetness from all those onions. To a pot that's been heating, add in some oil and once that's heated, add in your previously ground wet and dry spice mix. Keep stirring this on medium to low heat until you find all that rawness from those beautiful aromas are starting to subside. Add in 3 dry red chilies broken up into half. Give this a quick stir. Add a black cardamom and 2 cloves and let those bloom in that oil. Add in the chopped onion and mix these all up together nicely. Once this is thoroughly mixed, 
and a little reduced from that cooking add in some salt a tablespoon of coriander powder a teaspoon of chili powder a teaspoon turmeric and give these a good mix cook these up until the oil starts to separate Once that is done, add in your chopped tomatoes and stir that in. At this point, you can increase the temperature and cook on medium to high heat so that the tomatoes start to dissolve quickly. I wanted to take a moment to say that if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like and share this video. Now let's get back to making our chicken. When you see the oil start to show up on top of the onion tomato mix, start to add in your chicken. I've used 1 kg chicken here. Mix all of these thoroughly. You can then set your cooktop to its lowest heat. Cover up the pan and let this cook for about 45 to 50 minutes. Once this is done, remove the lid and you can bring the pot to a high heat and stir continuously in order to thicken up the curry a little bit. You see that those onions and tomatoes have almost disappeared and the oil is nicely afloat the top. I've not added any water during the cooking process and I've just let the chicken simmer down in its own stock. Garnish this with half a teaspoon of dried crushed mint leaves and a handful of freshly chopped coriander leaves. Give all of this a thorough mix and let your dish sit for about 10 minutes before serving. Since we've not used any water here, the only way to get the high temperature to properly cook your meat is with oil. Oil also ensures that the cooked taste of those spices develop nicely and this allows those flavors to be properly dispersed, setting off a mouth-watering experience when you taste it. Serve this up with some hot naans or some plain white rice and enjoy. I've also left a link to the measured ingredients in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye bye.